early morning weather when you want it. Eyewitness News now. About 4,000 women in Connecticut will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. And according to the Connecticut Breast Cancer Coalition Foundation, the state has the highest rate of breast cancer in the U.S. Well, now there's a new non-invasive test in Connecticut that detects cellular changes in the breast up to seven years before a mammogram can detect lumps. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jamie Roth shows us how this new test works. This small machine called the Halo does its job in only five minutes. So we're going to press, it's going to make some noise. During that time, about half of the women tested will produce a small amount of fluid from the milk ducts in their breasts. That fluid is tested for cellular changes that can lead to breast cancer. Women who do not produce fluid have a negative test. This test helps us identifying these particular patients which might have uh, this uh, high risk. Dr. Jakob Markovici is the first doctor to use the halo in Connecticut. He says the test is new, but the science behind it is not. 90% of the, the, the breast cancer, uh, they are arriving in the milk duct. He recommends the test to patients as young as 25. The concept is similar to pap tests women typically undergo once a year. The structure of the cells is monitored, and changes from year to year alert doctors to potential problems. And people who are going to have a TP on the, on the breast pap test, they are going to be put on a faster track for follow-up. Women say the test is much less uncomfortable than a mammogram. You do feel um, pressure on each breast, but not like the really squish. You feel a little bit of warmth suction and I mean it's done within five minutes. My mom back in 1998 had breast cancer and she did die in 2005 of leukemia so any preventive measure that I could take to not get any type of cancer I would do. it. The doctor agrees but he warns this is not a substitute for mammograms or for monthly self exams. Jamie Roth, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Disposable again. Right now this test is not covered by insurance but the doctor says he's trying to keep it affordable for all patients. To find out more about this HALO test you can always go to our website WFSB.com. Just click on health.